Hey everybody, welcome to the show. My name is John Otnason and this is my brother Charlton Johansson. Yes, today we're going to talk about Warcraft. Let's get to it. Hey guys, now I know so many of you, just like us, love Warcraft. Yeah, well, Warcraft is a game that has filled a lot in my life, and I know in yours as well. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I mean, it was, for some of us, it was the introduction to strategy games along with Age of Empires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Most uh, definitely. Yeah. I think it's almost, I would say, the oldest strategy game I've ever played, but that would be a lie. Because I think I played before that ty Tycoon games, like Transport Tycoon, mm, yeah. where you built uh, uh, this, this yeah, world. But that, yeah, but that wasn't in Warfare. No, no, no not at all. Like a, yeah. Uh, yeah, just ju just a building part of it, right? Exactly, yeah. but it felt in the strategy kind of game alone, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah. So uh, we're gonna talk a lot about uh, Warcraft, but we cannot talk about Warcraft without talking about Blizzard. Now, we've everybody had uh, this pandemic upon us and it has it has hit us all uh, in different different kind of ways. So because of the pandemic, BlizzCon has been uh, cancelled as well. There's been an update from uh, Sarah Lynn Smith, the executive producer of BlizzCon, and she wrote a statement about uh, the decision of cancelling it. I will leave a link in the descriptions down below so you can actually read that. So yeah, of course, that's very sad. BlizzCon is one of the biggest nerd gatherings mm. in America and in the world, I yeah. think. Next to Comic-Con, of course. Next to Comic-Con, of course. Yeah. But I mean, as a company, they have made a major difference in the gaming community. Revolutionized it, almost. Yeah. Yeah. So it's extremely sad that they had to cancel because of the pandemic. But yeah. it is what it is. It's safety first. Mm. Too bad. But uh, referring to Blizzard, how many games have you played from Blizzard? From Blizzard I have played, of course, yeah, of course. I've played Warcraft 3, that was the first one. I didn't play the two first. You did. I did, yeah. The first, yeah. And I have played Hearthstone. I have played Diablo 3 only. Hmm. And Heroes of the Storm. I think that's all. The first Warcraft game that I played, like I said earlier, was Warcraft 1. And that was at my... One of my best friends' brother's room, where we snuck into his room to play. Okay. Um, Mashtin. <clears throat> hmm. uh, Titer's brother is one of my, um, one of my friends, because he had a game. Um, I played as well also Diablo. That was Diablo 1. And I, I remember having that game actually at home at myself. Yeah? Own game, but I never played it all the way through. Okay. For some reason, I don't know why. I don't know if it became too hard or yeah. whatever. But I, I also played StarCraft. I really like StarCraft also. Yeah. But I think at that time and age, I played a lot of games, but I never finished them no. for some reason. I don't know. Mm. Lost interest or they were just too hard at that age. I don't, yeah. I don't know, actually. It was first when I became a little older than I started finishing all the games. Mm -hmm. But that was more on PlayStation games. Yes. My liege. Yes. 
Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Your will, sire. Yes. Your bidding. Yes, my lord. Yes. Yes, my lord. Yes. Yes, my lord. My liege. Yes, my lord. Your will, sire. Yes. Eat that. Need to work. All right. Ready to work. Yes, my lord. will be avenged. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. Requested information follows. The strategic options in StarCraft II are endless, but the fundamental gameplay mechanics are simple. Gather resources, assemble your forces, and defeat your opponents. All of them amazing games. Heroes of the Storm for me was... Uh, because I, I am a League of Legends player, so... It, it was a good game. Mm. Came with a lot of new things like separate objectives, and it was it, it it was different from League of Legends. But you know, I loved League of Legends, so I played League of Legends. I, I felt no need to play Heroes of the Storm because League of Legends was out there. Then again, World of Warcraft. Oh, of course, I've also played World of Warcraft. That was my first RPG experience mm. or MMO RPG. Mm. Absolutely amazing game when it came out. I remember my mom was uh, very hesitant to let me play it. Yeah, because it, I mean, it it, it kind of blew up. There were so many people who fell head and heels into playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it came. Yeah, it was almost like for yeah, some people. It, it was almost like D and D in the eighties with the devil worship and everything. Right? You read that people got mental illnesses from playing it, mm. and you know. But some people didn't go to work. I mean, they just stayed inside playing. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I truly believe that some people did. Yeah. But I mean, that's uh, maybe as a, as a, zero par as a parent, I, I I would I can re relate to people being worried about their children if they're playing all night and can't yeah, concentrate well, about school and of stuff course. Like that. I mean, that's when gaming gets to uh, a dangerous kind of level. I mean. Yeah, de definitely. No, uh, no arguments there. That's only what we heard. There was no research made. I mean, we didn't get to know uh, we, on which basis these numbers stemmed upon. I mean, we, we, saturations are also yeah very likely. I mean, but at a point, my friend in uh, Trunches Fire played World of Warcraft, the uh, Rise of the Lich King, mm. and that's when I finally got into it, mm. and it was a joy ride for. About four years, I think I played it. Well, it was kind of different for, for, for me. Uh, I think it's like what we talked in the last episode, uh, where I kind of fell off from gaming in a couple of years as I mm -hmm. uh, went for my education and stuff like that. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, gaming 
in that period evolved a lot and it became more addic- I don't want to say addictive but it became more serious also addictive I yeah mean, and, uh, and I the, myself have been addicted to gaming but but it was it was actually a good topic for another episode to talk about where is the limit with the ad- addiction and, and gaming and where to draw a line and stuff like that but that's for a different episode but what I mean that the choices became so so broad you could you uh, the games were so many and the online gaming mm-hmm. became so extreme and so advanced mm-hmm. at the time when i didn't play that much yeah you didn't have a computer in in Tosha. no i didn't have it for many years actually no and uh, so although i've always loved playing games i i remember myself as a child that i some sometimes picked friends who had a nintendo or had a computer and those who didn't, I didn't play that much with because then I couldn't play console games and I didn't have any myself. I was co- quite a bastard <laughs> as a child. I mean, we understand. Yeah. I wouldn't say I grew out of it, but I came in a period in my life where it didn't feel that much because I didn't. there wasn't so many to choose, no. choose between. And now as I became older, I began playing uh, PlayStation again fell into Dungeons & Dragons and just, the nerd inside just came back out mm. wild. Yeah, I mean... I remember my so the first game I ever finished was Onimusha 2. Mm. I remember it clearly. Yeah. <laughs> it was an amazing game also. Yeah, it was an amazing game. I, re- I remember when I finished it, I came running down to the grocery store where you worked yeah, yeah. just to tell you yeah, exactly. that I had finished it. But that's something, a game, the game that I got with PlayStation 2. Yeah, it yeah, was it followed, included. Yeah, yeah, it was included in the exactly, back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was amazing. In 1560, Lord Nobunaga Oda defeated Yoshimoto Imagawa in Okehazama. A new warrior, Jubei Yagyu, heard about a demon attack on his hometown, Yagyu Village. Fearing the ominous presentiment in his heart, he desperately raced back home. remember that because you that's also when you became that older where you actually became very good at playing games yeah you know i like understood the concept of games yeah, to a point at which i could you know proceed you know but uh, yeah also you begin more to understand english you understand what the game's about you can hear what they're saying mm-hmm. what, what what you're supposed to do it was very yeah, hard definitely uh, as a fairish guy not understanding english what was the point of the game yeah it's not like they were in danger no, i also time. remember oftentimes i asked you for help yeah uh, or completed level four me or anything, and you always said no. Not always. Almost always. Well, one thing that I never understood about you: playing games. You always pressed X in the cinematic scenes. You pass the scenes, then you didn't know what was going on. You didn't know what you were supposed to do because they just told you, but you just skipped it. But I wanted to play the game. I didn't want to watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually uh, but that's maybe also because I wasn't that strong in English I didn't yeah. understand what they were saying so it yeah. didn't matter to me yeah and I didn't appreciate the effects of cool uh, cutscenes no I just wanted to play that's also one of the biggest difference between what kind of games you like and what games I like mm. I really like RPG games where they are Role playing is very heavy mm-hmm. with dialogues. I love that you can choose dialogues and 
uh, determining on what you choose, the outcome will change. Yeah, yeah. I love that aspect. Yeah, of the, the game. Uh, dra- Dragon Age games. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can talk about Dragon Age. You, you. Yeah, dra- I wasn't a fan of Dragon Age. I mean, no. I, I. When I started playing it, I I really liked it because the, the graphics are cool. You get these uh, choices of class and race and and everything, just like a normal RPG. And the combat system was was fine. But these long dialogues, <laughs> I just, I, it, it killed it for me, yeah. really. Yeah, I can follow, I can I can see what you mean. Sometimes, sometimes you go a little bit overboard, mm-hmm. like one of the Metal Gear games. I mean, it was so extreme that it was more video than gaming, actually. Yeah, it wasn't it something about the final cutscene lasting for over an hour. <laughs> it was, the, yeah, it was something like that. Yeah, it was extreme. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> But, but going back to uh, Warcraft, yeah, um, we got a, a bit off topic there. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's so much to talk about. We'll, yeah. we'll get back on that in another episode. Um, but I never got into that playing. What's it called uh, when Dota? Dota. Dota. <laughs> Dota. Dota. <laughs> My Dota. <laughs> <laughs> I never. I, that was also in the time when I, I didn't play mm. at all. I didn't play be- Dota One either. Yeah, that stemmed from uh, Warcraft Three. Yeah, I have played Dota Two. Okay. Um, it's kind of a touching subject for Blizzard, I think. Valve created this game, mm-hmm. Dota Two. No. And uh, Blizzard actually sued them because no. they used many of the names from. I, I uh, thought it was Blizzard. Blizzard. No, 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 it's Valve. Okay. You know the one Half Life. Yeah, yeah, is. yeah. Okay. Who, yeah, who owned Dota Two? No. Because it wasn't actually a game. No, exactly. It was just, just a mod yeah, made okay. by people like you and me. Yeah, okay. So, Blizzard didn't that... have any rights, per se, no. on it. But some of the names were... Uh, they they had to change because they were getting sued. You, I basically thought it was Warcraft. Yeah, right? I yeah, don't understand yeah, why it is Blizzard basically would be angry. Warcraft still. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, a lot of the, all the characters, I would say, are from, from Blizzard, from Warcraft. Mm. But... Yeah, and you know, you mentioned Warcraft 3. I mean, absolutely amazing game. It's one of the best games I've ever played. Yeah, for me too. I mean, it's also the nostalgia in playing it because, and as I said, it was my first strategy game. Mm. And uh, it was really hard also for a you know, for a boy to play Warcraft 3 because... For hard for a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was hard for a kid to play Warcraft 3 because... I mean, because there were so many choices. How you want to build, what you choose to build. I mean, I couldn't play above anything than easy. No, because no. I was getting hammered yeah, yeah. by the CPU. I remember. I have played many times over and over because you had to do it. I felt like you had to do a very precisely tragic move mm-hmm. to make it. Yeah. Yeah, to stay alive. Yeah, and the difficult uh, levels, I, I believe you had to have almost the exact strategy that the game wanted you to, to use. Yeah. But that's only half of it. I mean, the uh, the storyline is it's amazing. Exactly. And I actually want to talk a little bit about one of the best uh, cinematic scenes mm. ever. Yeah. I mean, I have never mm. in any game ever seen a scene that has shocked or moved me. Yeah, I was shell-shocked. I yeah. Never. I mean, the hair was standing on my arms. I was, whoa! Mm. I mean, it's it's just uh, you, most of you probably uh, know what scene I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, uh, of course, if you've never played this game, spoiler alert. But I think everybody knows this. It's your own fault. Yeah. Your own fault. <laughs> Let's check that out. Yeah. Behold, Muradin, our salvation. Frostborn. Hold, lad. There's an inscription on the dais. This is it's a warning. It says, ah, yeah, it is. Whosoever it is. takes up this blade shall wield power eternal. Just as the blade rends flesh, so must power scar the skin. This is really good. Oh, I should have known. The blade is cursed. Let's get the hell out of here. I would gladly bear any curse to save my homeland. 
Oh, leave it be, Arthas. Forget this business and lead your men home. Damn the men! Nothing shall prevent me from having my revenge, old friend. Not even you. Now, it's already cor cor corrupting him at this the point. Yes. Of this place. I will give anything or pay any price. He's such a passionate if paladin. If only you will help me save I will do my people. To right. mm -hmm. That he will be able to touch evil <laughs> to do so. Or even yeah. Almost, if you know what I mean. And he just instantly became corrupted after taking the mm -hmm. blade. Yeah, the blade speaks with him. It's a, mm -hmm. Yeah, Frostmourne, it, it is a sentient blade. Prince Arthas, wh where is Muradin? We can't hold out for much longer. Muradin is dead. But take heart, Captain. The enemy will not stand long against the might of Frostmourne. So, you've taken up Frostmourne at the expense of your comrades' lives, just as the Dark Lord said you would. I don't know that much about the complaining about reports, but this looks amazing. You it looks great. Your breath, I mean, it looks. I mean, it, it's I sufficient in any way, in, 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 yeah, in every way. In every aspect. You hear the voice of the Dark Lord. I mean, I don't know what you would expect from, but I think if it's. I mean, I mean, most of the critics have talked about the, uh, the box. Uh, yeah, yeah, box from the gameplay. Okay. He tells me that the time for my vengeance has come. What? He can't possibly mean to. Oh. It is finished. Instant kill. Easy. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Yeah. And off he goes to the blizzard. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so he went straight to Northrend. Yeah. And there he comes, baby. Here he comes. I saw this first time, I said, why does he have a skull on his shoulder? The sword speaks through him. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. What is this? What are you doing, my son? Succeeding you, father. <sighs> the song is <amazing. laughs> I'm having flashbacks. And from the ashes shall arise a new mortar. 
that will shake the very foundations of the world. This kingdom shall fall. I mean, after so passionately <laughs> wanting to save the kingdom, <laughs> then he was its demise. Yeah, it was amazing, guys. I、mm. mean, yeah, I know a、yes. lot have happened since. So many cool scenes, so many different kind of、uh, cutscenes, cinematic. But I mean, for me, nothing can. Top I mean, Blizzard have got a lot of stake for. For the for the、uh, World of Warcraft expansions they have come with, and for the、uh, Heroes of the Storm, but man, they can make a good cinematic.、Uh, yeah, I mean, I I don't have the words. <laughs>、oh, I don't either. I, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to to explain an emotion、yeah. when you feel when you see something、mm-hmm. like that for the first time.、Yeah. I mean, everybody knows the.、Um, Uh, with the statement of being in awe, you know, I was really in awe、mm. for seeing something like that. Yeah,、um, I mean, even their two-minute cutscenes or cinematics. I mean, from the very start, you are gripped. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and they can make you feel things,、mm. and I mean, sadness, happiness, anger. <laughs> Emotional. Yeah, in, in in two minutes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't even need context. No, it's no. It's, it's amazing. No, but,、uh, yeah, no. absolutely loved Warcraft Three.、Mm-hmm. Tell us in the comments what you think about Warcraft Three, and let us know what, about this favorite、uh, cutscene, or if you have any other. Please let me know what you think is the coolest cutscene、mm-hmm. that Blizzard has in Warcraft. Any kind of Warcraft, even WoW. Yeah. yeah well, I have one from、uh, World of Warcraft. That is the one with、uh, Illidan Stormrage. Illidan, I actually love that character as well. It was an amazing character. Yeah, yeah, it's it's I mean, amazing. You know, that kind of guy who just has to be the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah he、uh, like he chooses to be the bad guy.、Mm. It's, it's it's like it's not in him. Yeah, but、mm. he he takes on the role. Yeah, exactly. It's a really cool character concept and. Liam O'Brien, he just nails、mm. his、uh, his voice.、Mm. Uh, yeah,、uh, kudos to him. I mean, everybody knows him from Critical Role, but his、uh, voice is amazing and yeah, it's an in incredibly、game. talented voice actor. Yeah, and、uh, maybe we should roll up that scene. Yeah,、uh, let's do it. The cinematic where、uh, Illidan is、um, supposed to be the chosen one. Yeah, I mean there, there, there's a quest where you have to collect all the pieces of this sword or this、Taralia. entity. Okay. You have found the chosen one. Illidan, from birth, the light in your eyes held such promise for the future. Sacrificed that birthright long ago. Do you not wish to reclaim what was lost, to be whole again? The legion's end、mm. is all I seek. I love、My、the voice. Mm-hmm. You've、Amazing. given so much for so little. Your true potential. Your redemption lies before you. Let go of your shattered form and embrace the light's power. I've traded my freedom for power. 
power before. The prophecy must be fulfilled. Your old life has passed. The light will forge you a new one. It is not yours to take. The light will heal your scars. I am my scars! The light is Smith. your destiny. My destiny is my own! <laughs> You've doomed us all! Betray us! Your faith has blinded you. There can be no chosen one. Only we can save ourselves. Amazing. Yeah, so, <laughs> so cool. Such a cool. You don't even need context for that uh, no. cutscene. No. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. Yeah, it's like coming to a point to fulfill uh, the prophecy, being mm -hmm. the chosen one, and he just... He's just fed up. <laughs> I mean, yeah. he's been controlled ever since he, uh, ever since uh, his uh, storyline in Warcraft 3 has been controlled by yeah. the Legion or... Or who, Demon uh, Hunter or something. Yeah. Yeah. And just have, he's just been this uh, reluctant hero. Hmm, Exactly. And once again, they try to control him, but this time he fights back. Yeah. So if you talk about uh, Arthas and you talk about Illidan, do you have a favorite character in Warcraft? I mean, World of Warcraft? <clears throat> it's really hard to pick a favorite character. I'm a big fan of Thrall myself. Oh. Mm. The uh, yeah, brief chieftain. Sylvana is a fantastic character. Mm. Illidan... Arthas, I mean, there are so many to Probably choose from. Probably hard to choose. Huh? I can't choose my favorites. No. Uh, what about you? Yeah, but I, I, I love the story of Sylvanas. Uh, yes, it's a fantastic story. Uh, I love Illidan as well, and also, it, it's hard to choose mm -hmm. which is your top favorite, but when you talk about Illidan and Sylvanas and Arthas, I mean, the stories are so amazing that yeah. it, it's, it's just... It's, it's just uh, yeah, it's an amazing story. Yeah. It, is, it is really hard to choose. Yeah. Now, I, I haven't ever felt in to the game of World of Warcraft. It, it took a lot of time for many people to do and I, I never felt like I had a, had a time to be uh, so involved in mm -hmm. a game like that. But that's also different between you and me that I've never been a big fan of online gaming. No. I've, I really like, how do you call when you story mode games. Yeah. Uh, uh, that also just single player games. Single player games, yeah. That it is the same for Skyrim as well. Yeah, I did play uh, Elder Scrolls online, mm -hmm. but not as much as you did. No, I I always fall back to Skyrim because yeah. I I love Skyrim. Uh, I, I I actually never finished Skyrim. It was at this point John found out his brother was adopted. <laughs> <laughs> Be ashamed. Of himself. <laughs> I mean, I've played it so many times. I have to find a new host. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I get why a lot of people love Skyrim. I played it three or four times. I think. Yeah, I've also played it many times. Just not even playing the storyline. I've just played all the side quests. Yeah, because <laughs> the game is so big that you can actually play. Yeah. But I mean, it's so. I hate. I absolutely hate the uh, the fighting mechanics, the combat mechanics. Okay. Yeah. I mean. It's but just, it's, 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 it's heavy, it's weird. Isn't it the same for Elder Scroll Online? Not even close. No? No. What's the difference? The difference is that you... I mean, I you mean, hit you, the same way, you throw magic the same way. No, you don't throw magic the same way. In uh, in uh, Elder Scrolls Online, you have, these, you have uh, two bars, like 
like in World of Warcraft. No, yeah, the, that's, the, true. Really, yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Where you choose your magics and yeah. you, have, you can you can switch between toolbars, mm. or you can have one for destruction or yeah, one yeah, for yeah. healing. My bad. Mm. And uh, also, uh, rogues have their own special abilities. Mm. Warriors have their own special abilities. Mm. I mean, there are light and heavy attacks, but then there are all these charges. And, I, okay, uh, yeah, I, I understand that and how big it is and how m people can spend so many hours playing a game. But I don't feel like, like I have time. It's extremely time-consuming to exactly. play online games because you have to keep up with everyone exactly. else. I think that's why storyline games or single-player games comes easier to me because mm -hmm. when I have time, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's and I don't really... feel like everyone around me has... Ex Exceed it mm. dramatically. No, yeah, I mean you can, you can say a, a normal single player game is like driving in the city. Mm. A uh, a uh, online game is driving on the highway. I mean. Yeah, exactly. It's, I also in 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 Skyrim mm. made an orc hero was was inspired by War, Warcraft kind of orcs because I love playing the orcs when mm. you play Warcraft, and which I called Orctavian, mm. um, and. Yeah, it was fun just to play him and make him uh, uh, the kind of uh, uh, orc that I wanted him in Skyrim. Although he was inspired from Warcraft. Yeah. Well, we, I think we do that in... I mean, in most situations, we take what, what inspires us from all these different kind of areas and put them in our character. Exactly. Even though it's just a game. Mm. I mean, it's like... We create our own story for our character in our heads while we play, and that maybe makes the game even more interesting. Exactly. I feel like that brings you know like an extra depth to why you choose to do these things. Mm. Like, what's the why do you choose to take this quest? Exactly. Um, why do you choose to decline another quest? Why do you choose to help this guy? Mm. I mean, this uh, I'm playing right now. I'm playing Divinity Original Sin Two, where there are a lot of moral. Uh, questions about your character yeah okay i mean uh, there's a screaming kid do you want to use your time to help him or do you have other more important manners to attend yeah you to? told me about it the game i actually want to really want to play that i haven't had the uh, honor of playing it yet yeah it's it's an, an amazing game it's mm. it's based on a tabletop uh, role-playing game exactly. where it's turn-based and you have a party mm. and you go on adventures yeah cool it's an amazing game but yeah, going back to uh, your character, Octavian. I mean, you always, not always, but f more favorably have always played these brute type of characters. Yeah, that's true. Mm. I mean, in D&D uh, &D you have liked to make these strong, yeah. almost, yeah, very much re religious types also but but yeah. more uh, these powerhouses yeah yeah i think that it's, it's, it's a lot of that comes actually from how i see myself when i was a child i was i was this very thin skinny kind of guy mm. who always wanted to be bigger always wanted to be stronger mm. uh, that's funny because you forget all about it as you grow up and i i see myself when i make characters i typically like to make them muscular yeah i typically like to make them large yeah. And very strong. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I, I think it's something to do with that. What, yeah. what, the, what I wanted as a, as, a, as a child. Yeah, it's like, yeah, something that is buried deep within you. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah, I have uh, Dante Resilion, this cleric, war cleric that I play in, in your game where you uh, dungeon master. Yeah, we can show a picture of him right here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you can see uh, in this picture Dante Resilion, his armor... And you can see all the red in his clothes. That's actually made out of uh, of uh, a dress that his wife had, um, the fabric that she used to make some of her clothes. And you can see, if you look in the backgrounds of this character, you can see the shadow um, silhouettes. Yeah, of his wife and children who actually died um, in in the backstory of Dante. Uh, his house was set on fire in an attempt to kill him. And he actually ran in a panic because he was caught in fire. They burned completely down and he ran out and fell into a nearby lake and actually survived. 
and his entire family died. And so that's how mm-hmm. his, his story kind of begins. So he later on had in his hand, no, he found later on in, in a chest that was the only thing survived was this fabric, mm-hmm. which he had, he then sewed into his armor. Yeah, <clears throat> you can see also on the, on the hilt of his sword, he has wrapped exactly a cloth of red uh, yeah, fabric. Exactly. So he is now out to find who were the ones to try to kill mm-hmm. him. And uh, we we actually play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons games one on one, and and that is actually very fun, and we make that work. Yeah, it's extremely fun. And I really want to show you guys some in an upcoming uh, uh, episode, maybe when we make a one shot on yeah. one on one. That would be cool. Just to yeah, see how it goes for you. Yeah, you always make these brute characters. I th- I've always seen myself as the spellcaster yeah. kind of guy. I don't know, something about, it takes the, I mean, I love the power a spellcaster possesses, Mm -hmm. the ability to change time, to invoke fire, to Mm -hmm. free stuff, it's just so cool. Yeah, yeah, uh, just to expand from reality completely. Yeah, 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 completely, to really delve into the fantasy aspect of the games. yeah. I, I, I mentioned also when I made an introduction to myself in the show where I showed a movie of Faroe Islands and I talked a little bit about Faroish folklore. Mm. I mentioned um, that we have stories about trolls and mm-hmm. and gnomes, like Vatra, yeah. and uh, and how many how much uh, fantasy actually is in our folklore. Yeah. So how that Extremely comes much. easily for mm. us actually playing Dungeons and Dragons and stuff yeah, like this. There are countless stories of. Yeah. Uh, Folklore. Most of them stem from uh, Norse mythology. Yeah, actually, that's true. That's true. Yeah. But we have our own twists. Yeah, we. Yeah, of course. Mm. Stories evolve. Yeah. Uh, and become our own, actually. Yeah. So Yeah, because the Faroe Islands issue is, we are descendants from the Vikings. Yeah, yeah. So it's not weird. But I go back to uh, to Warcraft, and I talk a lot about that. I really like uh, playing the orcs. Do you mm. have a favorite? Uh, race I mean in Warcraft 3 I always played the undead necromancy and again it's the spell casting yeah. uh, mm. thing mm. And also I loved Arthas so yeah. I just st- stuck with him yeah I've always been a big fan of the undead yeah cool villains mm. actually in the, in our podcast it is actually undead um uh, themed and a little bit mm. political uh, as well. Mm. So if you like undead uh, uh, themed Dungeon Dragons games, you should go check that out. Uh, Nordic D&D, the Ariana Saga is the name of our podcast. You know what? Um, there's so much to talk about Warcraft. I think that we're going to end this episode here and then we're going to continue in another one where we're actually going to play a uh, Warcraft 3 game uh, co-op no mm. it's not called no. co-op Worth versus versus against one another if you want to s- check that out then subscribe and uh, ring that bell so you won't miss anything and then we will see you next time right thanks for stopping by see you guys So sadly, because of the pandemic, also blitz. <laughs> so sadly, also because of the pandemic, BlizzCon yeah. has been cancelled. Very sad. Yeah. See the viral of London. It's very sad, but I'm laughing. <laughs> okay, yeah. <coughs> oh. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Three, two, eight. Yeah, so because of the... uh, uh, uh.